Let's go through how I care for one of my favorite plants, the Monstera Thai constellation. This variegated beauty does have a few specific care requirements. Here are my tips for keeping this plant happy and healthy. It is currently a spring here in Australia and she's pushing out a few new leaves. This is my latest one. When they first unfurl, they will be a little bit soft, so you need to be gentle. With Monsteras, they will either unfurl with or without fenestrations. They won't split once they have unfurled, but we're not starting with leaves, we're actually going to start with watering. Unlike its all green cousin, this plant is very susceptible to root rot. Although the tire constellation does like to have fairly moist soil, you do need to make sure you have adequate drainage and that it can dry out to avoid this common problem. I recommend having all of your houseplants inside nursery pots. If nursery or growers pots aren't for you, you must make sure that whatever decorative pot you choose has drainage. Whilst a lot will just have one drainage hole at the bottom, you can also look for one with a water catchment. This ensures that there's no water sitting at the base of your plant. Having proper drainage also helps to deter pests like fungus gnats. Most plants will let you know when they're thirsty. You just need to know what to look for. With monsteras, their leaves will start to curl and droop. You can also test the soil by sticking your finger in. If your finger comes out clean, it means it's time to water. Now let's move on to sunlight and these beautiful leaves. As you can see on this leaf here, the variegated sections of your plant may go brown faster. This is because this part of the leaf lacks chlorophyll. Plants use chlorophyll to help them to photosynthesize. Without it, they're going to go brown faster, but I have found you can snip these off and the rest of the plant will be fine. Whilst the variegation on your plant may go brown faster, that doesn't mean that all browning of leaves is normal. Although the Thai constellation does thrive in bright sunlight, too much hot afternoon sunlight can scorch its leaves and fade the variegation. On the other end, if you don't have enough sunlight, I suggest adding a grow light. Having adequate sunlight encourages new growth and also ensures those new leaves have fenestrations. You can see here on the stem a new leaf is growing. They grow pretty quickly throughout the warmer months and they're also a pretty easy plant to propagate. For all monsteras, you need to take a cutting with either a node or an aerial root. This is the point where new roots will grow from. Unfortunately, if you've gotten a little snip happy and have cut off a leaf with a stem and no node, you've unknowingly created a zombie plant. This means that the base of the stem may root, but you won't get any new foliage growing. If you don't want to propagate your plant and are wondering what to do with these long aerial roots, I wait until they're long enough to push back into the soil. You can see that despite the size of this one, I don't have her on a trellis or a moss pole. She's standing up on her own with a great support base. This is a good point to take a screenshot to see the different sections of the plant. Now let's move on to humidity. Being a tropical plant, the Monstera does like higher humidity levels. You should aim for the humidity in the room to be about 60%. You can do this by adding a humidifier nearby, misting your plant or giving it a little shower. Whilst misting and showering won't increase the humidity for too long, they still do have a positive effect on your plant. Alternatively, you can place it in a room with higher humidity naturally. Somewhere like your bathroom or kitchen is perfect if you have natural sunlight in that room as well. As well as misting my plant with water, I also spray it down monthly with neem oil. Make sure you dilute your neem oil first. You then want to spray and wipe the leaves. Keep your plant out of sunlight for 24 hours after you You've sprayed it with neem oil as it's an oil it can increase chances of burn as well as being a great organic leaf shine it also helps to prevent some pests keep an eye on the leaves and the stem for discoloration webbing or any sticky residue these are all telltale signs that you may have a pest if you do come across something unsightly you can go in with an insecticide now if you're looking at your own monstera and wondering why you don't have as many splits let me tell you how to achieve this firstly you need to give your plant time the juvenile leaves won't have any splits in them but as your plant matures and grows you should get more leaves with fenestrations in them 
you also need to make sure it's getting plenty of sunlight and water. Fenestrations happen so that sunlight can reach the leaves below. Also, so rain can pass through the leaves and reach the soil. Therefore, if your plant isn't getting enough sunlight, it's not going to fenestrate. If it is, you should first see splits in the leaves and then secondary fenestrations, which are these holes. For the baby leaves at the base of the plant, I wait until they start to go yellow and then snip them off. Yellowing leaves at the base of your plant is completely normal and they will die off over time. If however you've got new leaves that are going yellow you should probably check for overwatering and drainage. You also need to be feeding your plants and I opt for a liquid NPK monthly. I've just pulled out the water catchment at the base of my plant and you can see how much water would have been pulling at the bottom if it didn't have drainage. It's a really good reminder why you need to have drainage holes in your plants. I also like to alternate between bottom watering and top watering my house plants. You can see in this bottom watering time lapse how much the plants will move as they rehydrate. Don't be alarmed if your leaves start to droop before you water them. As I mentioned at the beginning, this plant is very susceptible to root rot. I like to wait until my plant shows me that it's thirsty and then give it a good drink. If you're using a water soluble fertilizer, you can add it to the water when you're bottom watering and top watering. And that's it really. Let me know if you have any other questions about the Monstera Thai constellation.